Hello there, and welcome to the release video for version 21 of the Google Ads API. I'm Mattia Tomazone, a developer relations engineer on the Google Ads API team, and I will be walking you through the main updates in this release. There are several new features that I want to introduce, but before we dive into that, let me just talk about a new documentation change that we recently introduced, which I'm also particularly excited about because I personally worked on it. As I'm sure you know, we are constantly updating the API documentation to make it easier for you to learn and experiment with the API. So one of the newest changes we made is this. We unified the reference documentation for the gRPC and REST transport layers of the API in a single set of documentation, because after all, it's the same API, and we think having all the references in a single place is clearer and less ambiguous for developers. But that's not all. We also have a pretty cool tool that used to be available only in the REST reference doc pages and which is now more visible. It's the API Explorer, aka the Try It button. We have an entire video about it if you're interested. I think it's very helpful to experiment and familiarize with the API. Let us know what you think about these documentation changes in the comments and stay tuned because we have more of them coming up. Now let's talk about the main reason why I know you're here. You want to know what's new in version 21 of the API. The first highlight of v21 is a feature you have been asking us for some time. It's support for AI Max for search. The campaign resource now has a field called AI Max settings that contains all the configuration settings you can use to customize your AI Max setup. If you want to know more about AI Max for search, I'll leave a link to a blog post explaining it in detail in the video description right below. Of course, you will also want to show how your AI Max for Search campaigns are performing, and we've got you covered for that as well, with the new AI Max Search Term Ad Combination View report, which shows which search queries triggered your ads and how those specific combinations performed. We also added another field to the campaign resource that will allow you to be compliant with EU regulations. Starting in September, you will have to explicitly declare whether or not a campaign contains political advertising targeted for the European Union which is exactly what the Contains EU Political Advertising field does. We have another blog post explaining this requirement in detail. I'll leave a link to it as well in the video description right below. Starting in version 21, besides, RAN guidelines will be enabled by default for new PMAX campaigns. This means that when you create a new PMAX campaign with the API, you will have to provide the business name and logo assets at the campaign level, linking them to the campaign using the campaign asset resource instead of linking them to an asset group with the asset group asset resource. You can still create PMAX campaigns with the brand guidelines disabled. Just set the brand guidelines enabled field of the campaign to false when creating it. Speaking of PMAX, we also have a new report called Campaign Search Term View that includes the same metrics as the existing Search Term View report, but at the campaign level and it also exposes metrics for PMAX campaigns. Now, if you're familiar with my release videos, you know by now that these were just a few highlights among the many updates and improvements that we introduced in version 21. If you want to see the complete list of changes that were included in this release of the API, just take a look at our release notes. You can find that and all the other useful links in the video description right below here. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and again, let us know what you think in the comments and remember to subscribe to the channel so that you can always be up to date with the Google Ads API.